Kyle Busch is a name that resonates with force and fervor in the NASCAR world. An icon of the track, his career is a tapestry of breakneck speeds, audacious overtakes, and a trophy cabinet burgeoning with laurels that many can only dream of. Yet, beyond his personal conquests, Busch's influence on the sport extends to his role as the mastermind behind Kyle Busch Motorsports KBM, an incubator for burgeoning talent and a force in its own right within the NASCAR Truck Series. Stay tuned to NASCAR Zone because this is the interview you don't want to miss. But before we move further, hit that subscribe button. Established in 2010, KBM has been instrumental in sculpting the careers of numerous drivers, propelling them to the forefront of racing's grand stage. The team has become synonymous with excellence and a nurturing ground for drivers aiming to cut their teeth in the fiercely competitive world of NASCAR. In an in-depth interview, Kyle Busch peels back the layers on a season that was both exhilarating and challenging. He delves into KBM's celebrated success, the unexpected announcement of its shutdown, and the unfolding drama at Martinsville with Richard Childress Racing RQR. A tale of high-stakes racing where tempers flared and the thin line between aggressive driving and respect was put to the test. But it's not just about the tense moments on the track. Bush offers a reflective look at the 2023 season, a period marked by notable victories, missed opportunities, and the relentless pursuit of racing perfection. It started off great. I mean, man, we went to the clash, we finished second and third, we went to Daytona, we were leading first and second uh, on the 500 mile mark, you know, but uh, it was under yellow. So uh, we weren't able to quite keep the lead into the into the final laps of that one. But um, started out the season really strong. We won at Fontana, uh, we won it at Talladega, we won at Gateway. So we've had some really good success this year. We've, we've had as much as we've had the highs, we've also had the lows, you know, we've missed some setups sometimes and just haven't had the, the finishes that we want to get. And um, ultimately, you know, wasn't able to make it to the round of eight. But uh, first year at RCR, I feel like there's been a good success here. Uh, brought a lot of ideas and concepts and things like that from my past experiences of being in the Cup Series, but also trying to blend in and, and understand a lot about how they go about their stuff too. In a testament to the team's spirit, they bore the tough times with grit, ensuring that every member, from the pit to the cockpit, shared a mutual toughness. Bush, as a leader, was equally tough on himself, a clear sign of a team united in its quest for improvement. This reflective passage through the season's ebb and flow also touched on the more subtle art of accentuating the positives. Though scarce in the shadow of their shortcomings, the team's successes served as beacons of hope, fleeting moments where the machinery, strategy, and skill converged to offer a glimpse of their true potential. KBM's legacy and shutdown. Kyle Busch Motorsports KBM stands as a venerable institution within NASCAR not merely for its competitive spirit, but also for its formative role in sculpting the trajectories of NASA and racing talents. As Bush reflects on the closure of his eponymous team, there is a palpable sense of pride in the legacy KBM leaves behind. No, I mean, that's been a huge, um, a huge added bonus to it of being as successful as we've been with a lot of great people is the drivers that we've helped through there. And now, you know, there's uh, a couple of them racing for a championship that have come out of KBM in the Cup Series this year. Uh, so feel good about all that. I mean, obviously, it's been really cool. It's been a great ride. It's been a lot of fun. I wanted it to grow and become something bigger and go up, go up against the likes of Hendrick and Penske and Gibbs and all those guys in due time. But you got you got to be a billionaire in this day and age to, uh, to to make a cup program go. So it's really tough. The 2023 NASCAR season for Kyle Busch was a study in contrast, marked by the exhilaration of victory and the reflective contemplation of what might have been. Bush's own assessment of the year is candid, acknowledging both the highlights and the missed opportunities that peppered his campaign. How would you assess your football, your season, and kind of where you guys are at progression? The cup stuff? Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I said it a little bit ago, but pretty good. Just happy with the three wins. You know, I felt like there's definitely two or three other opportunities we could have won. So, you know, if it would have five, if it would have been a five-win season, that would have been pretty, pretty good. And, you know, I made up too many mistakes there in the round of 12 to not transfer through to the round of eight, but I definitely felt like we were round of eight contenders and capable of that. So that's what we'll set our sights on for next year. Looking toward the horizon, Bush sets his ambitions for the forthcoming season, aiming to cement his place among the final eight contenders. It is a goal born from a blend of optimism 
and the hard-earned wisdom of past laps, both triumphant and trying. The road ahead is one of recalibration and refocus, as Bush and his team turn lessons learned into strategies for success, all with an eye on transcending this year's achievements. Before we move, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and become a member or NASCAR Zone family. Kyle Busch's 2023 season was not only a test of speed and skill, but also one of adaptation and technical recalibration. As NASCAR's environment evolved, so too did the challenges, with Busch finding himself at the crux of significant changes, most notably the nuances of handling his Chevrolet Camaro and the complex interplay of tire dynamics. Can you get that comfort zone for 2024 that, you know, you said you were missing some this year? Yeah, we're, we're working on that. I mean, you know, there's a lot of things that have kind of we've thought about over the last few weeks about how we can do that. So it's just a matter of, of if we can apply it and apply it properly. Some of it, too, is just the body of the Camaro and the way it acts is, is a lot different. And so, you know, there's some to that, but we're not getting a new one, but the other two guys are. So we'll we'll fight through with the one we got. A lot, I mean, it's a lot of it is the car, a lot of it is the tire, a lot of it is the body, the aerodynamics, how that works. The old cars, you could get them sideways and they would still retain downforce and side force. In this car, you get it a little bit crooked and it's gone, you know. You just don't have that air to lean on, so you're relying on the car staying straight. And I... What's made me good over the years is my ability of being able to drive over peak of the tire and be able to make it work and make speed doing that. Now I feel like anytime I get to that point and I overstep it, I'm crashed. So I always have to stay under it. And when I'm staying under it, I'm too slow. So that's kind of where we've, we've got to work on just more net speed. Kyle Busch's insights into practice sessions provide a window into the meticulous strategizing that defines NASCAR's competitive edge. His comments shed light on the delicate balancing act required to fine-tune a car's performance, not only for the explosive speed needed for short sprints, but also for the enduring stability crucial for longer runs. Yeah, I mean, I feel okay about it. I think that um, our short run speed was really good, so that, that gave us a good overall lap time for top of the sheet. But our longevity, our, our 20 lap run wasn't very good. It was only like 15th or something. So um, we know we've got some work to do on trying to make the, the long run better. That's what we spent all practice doing. I felt like we slowed down the front side of the run and helped a little bit on the back side, but it was like a two for one. So the interview with Kyle Busch provided us a candid glimpse into the mindset of one of NASCAR's most prolific figures. It underscored his resilience, tactical acumen, and passion for the sport. Fans can anticipate a determined Kyle Busch, who is set to embrace the challenges ahead with the same zeal and sharpness that have defined his storied career, ensuring that he and his team remain at the forefront of NASCAR excitement. And that's all for this video. Hit that subscribe button for more amazing videos like this.